Hello and welcome back to my studio. Thank you for joining me. My name is Laura. Uh, you can find me on the rest of the internet as iHeartU, spelled E-W-E, the name of my Etsy shop, as well as my Instagram handle. And if you are on Ravelry, you can find me there as iHeartU Knits. Uh, today I'm just going to catch you up on a few things that I've been working on here. A pair of socks that is nearly finished since I saw you last. And I started working on my halibut sweater again. So if you're interested in either of those, stick around. As well, I am going to do a sale in my Etsy shop uh, this upcoming week. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can find some details down below, or um, if you want to wait till later on in the episode, I will let you know all about that. So um, yeah, I have slowly started knitting again. Um, I did not do much knitting over the summer at all, and actually not that much over last winter either, surprisingly. did a little bit, but just slowly starting to get back into it, and this weather is really helping. So um, it's been really nice. There's been some rainy days and that has given me a chance to just kind of stay inside and work on some projects and just kind of get back into enjoying knitting again. So that's been great. Um, before I go any further, I will tell you what I'm wearing today. This is the Cozy Classic Raglan um, long sleeve. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, by Jesse Made Designs. Uh, this is one of my favorite sweaters I've ever knit, actually. So if you were curious about this, I would highly recommend checking out this pattern. And uh, this is knit in um, Knit Picks Swish DK, which is a 100% superwash merino DK yarn. So very happy with this. Uh, it's a great sweater. It's a little bit cropped. Um, but it fits really well and there's lots of customization options as well in that pattern if you're interested in customizing it. So the first thing I'll show you is a pair of socks. Uh, it's just sitting in a little bag. This is just a plain black bag that I made myself and then I had an iron-on decal of a bee so I stuck that on there. And I have been chugging away at some socks. This is one that's finished. I'm going to go get my sock blocker so you can see this better. So yes, I am on a plain sock adventure. <laughs> I've been knitting a lot of just very simple socks the last little while, but really loving the results of these plain socks. So you can see a little better now that it's on the blocker. Uh, this is just a really nice dark um, charcoal to black yarn with um, little tweedy neps all through it. This is the Knit Picks Stroll Tweed in the color um, Wellington Heather. So it's they come in 50 gram balls, so I did buy two. <laughs> and uh, it's just simple, simple. I've been doing this um, rolled cuff quite a lot lately where I just uh, knit twice as long as I want the cuff to be. And then um, after I have that correct number of rounds, I kind of fold it back on itself. And then I use my needle to pick up the uh, cast on edge and like knit it together with each live stitch all the way around. So it honestly, it takes a while. Like I really love the look of it. And I like that you can just start out knitting and not have to do any ribbing at the beginning of a sock because ribbing is not my favorite thing to do but uh, like when it comes time to actually fold that hem over and you know tack it down it takes like quite a while to do that round and this one was actually started uh, on the plane when I went back to Ontario with my husband we went and visited family at um, the end of August, like early September, and I brought this um, as an unstarted project. I brought this yarn with me. So I actually was on the plane <laughs> uh, kind of like later on in the evening <laughs> for both of these like crucial parts, which was not actually very fun. Um, I always forget how knitting with black yarn, you really have to pay attention to um, what's going on. Like it's just harder to see. And with like that low light on the plane, you know, when they dim the lights and you have your little tiny light, 
that was actually not fun, so maybe um, <laughs> don't do that. Try and hold off if you're planning on uh, bringing a project on a plane. It might be a good idea to like plan out and like have some of the complicated stuff done first, because that's my only complaint about this sort of simple sock design is doing this tacking down takes a while. Like there may be other ways to do it. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, but this is what I've been doing where like I, I like basically fold it over and then like pick up that cast on stitch. So yeah, it took a while, but you know, totally worth it. I love this look. I think I'm actually going to knit a hat with this kind of rolled brim soon as well. And I did a um, traditional uh, gusset and turn heel, um, heel flap, <laughs> turn and gusset, <laughs> label these properly, and just my standard like kind of round toe there. Um, but I love them. I have a lot of socks knit out of like variegated yarns and then I have like pattern socks and things like that and I realized that um, I've really been enjoying kind of simple like one color all over things lately so really been enjoying that and I love this tweed yarn from Knit Picks. Um, if you are going to shop on Knit Picks you can click on the link down in the description of this video or you can find it like through my link tree on socials. I do have a um, an affiliate link with Knit Picks. So I don't, I'm not sponsored by Knit Picks. They don't send me free stuff, but if you're shopping at Knit Picks anyways, you can use my link and then that gives me like a small commission if you actually buy something. This is the second sock as well. It is getting close to the toe. Um, yeah, I think I made this cuff like a tiny bit thicker than the other one. And yeah, it is. It's like maybe like one or two rounds thicker, but I'm not going back to fix that. I just decided that these are just going to stay the way they are. Um, I don't think anyone will notice. And, you know, I might notice, but it'll just kind of make me laugh. So I'm not too upset about it. <laughs> so yeah, sock two is getting there. I will probably have this finished next time I talk to you. So yeah, so that was nice to have, like I said, just as like a nice simple project while I was traveling and then I picked that up since we got home. And then the other thing I've been working on, this is just in one of my big XL bags, uh, is my halibut sweater. Oh, I think Sammy's going to come for a visit. He has just started moving. Here, I'm going to go let him in. Here, so this is little Sammy. Hi, buddy. Sammy is my 14-year-old senior Labrador. Uh, you can also see my husband does scale modeling. <laughs> so you can see his little cart of scale modeling stuff there as well. Oh, I'm glad Sammy came for a visit. I bet he wants to go let's hide now. Yeah, so the other thing I've been working on is my halibut sweater. Uh, this is a pattern by Caitlin Hunter. Um, it's really mashed up on the needles right now. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit so you can see one section of it. Um, I think I have knit about 10 or 15 rounds since I saw you last, so it's not looking that different, but <laughs> you can really start to see the fish shape uh, coming in coming in now. So I'm still really excited with this. Uh, I'm really excited to have it uh, finished and wear it, but it'll probably be a while before it's done. I have a lot of just straight charcoal knitting to do after the color work is done. Um, but yeah, I've been marking my progress on the chart. I'm uh, finished 44 rounds out of uh, 64 total on the like the yoke chart. So I'm getting there. I actually timed how long it was taking me to do a round because it felt like they were taking like a while. And I'm at about like 25 minutes ish <laughs> to do a round on this, maybe a little less. Um, but I'm not a fast color work knitter and um, you know my, my muscles my body aren't in the habit of knitting a lot lately so yeah it's definitely you know I'm like oh 20 rounds that's not a big deal but if you multiply that by 20 minutes then suddenly that's uh, a lot of hours of work but <laughs> I'm really excited to see this one uh, see this one through and I'm really enjoying the color work uh, I do like a color work project or a project where you really have to pay attention to for certain things and um, I find it's really good if I'm watching something like not too engaging or if I'm listening to an audiobook or something like that 
um, it's the perfect thing to do because you can kind of really zone in on um, on your chart so yeah I'm like super happy with it like I said the only changes I've made so far is I did go up a needle size for my um, color work so I'm using 4.5 millimeter needles to do the color work just to make sure that it's nice and loose and then my other needle sizes that I'm using are uh, 3.75 millimeters for the ribbing and four millimeters for the body so yeah I think it's gonna look great I opted for like a slightly longer um, neckline I think it's gonna be you know just like sit a little bit higher which might be nice Sammy might start walking around again, but I'm just going to keep talking. So the yarn I'm using for this is um, the Holstgarn Super Soft. You can see I have some here. This is the uh, darker colorway. And then I have this kind of dove gray color for the color work. Um, the pattern called for Kelburn Woolen Scout, which I didn't have access to at my local yarn shop. And I knew that... <laughs> I knew that the little red mitten had the cones of Holstgarn Super Soft. I talked about this a lot in other videos, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, but I ended up realizing that if I hold the Holstgarn Super Soft double, it will basically give me like a similar result as the Kelburn Woolen Scout, which is a sport weight, I think. Um, I just kind of did the math with like the yardage versus the grams. Anyways, it was going to work out. I knew it was going to work out. I did a swatch and the swatch worked out really well. This is my baby swatch. Um, you know, the one thing about the whole scar and super soft, which I've gone into before as well, is it's not very soft when you're knitting it. It, it feels almost like linen. It's she's rough. So uh, don't be put off by that when you're knitting it. My husband was feeling it and he was like, oh, you know, and like I could tell by the look on his face that he was thinking about how rough it was, even though he wasn't saying it. And so I, I showed him, I told him, I said, you know, I know it, sound, it feels really rough right now, but it's going to be a lot nicer. And I pulled out the swatch and I let him feel it. It really impressed him how much it softened up. And then also... Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but do you see how how much poofier this is? Like this has really opened up and filled in all the kind of empty spaces. So I'm feeling pretty confident that this color work is gonna block out really beautifully. Um, it's not perfect right now and you can see a little bit of kind of light coming through the sweater, um, but I'm feeling pretty good about how it's going to block out just based on my little tiny swatch that I did here. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Um, size wise, what size am I making? Size three. And the finished bust circumference will be a 46 inch bust. And this pattern is recommended to have a little bit of positive ease, like six to 10 inches. Um, I'm about a 40 inch bust last time I measured so this will be perfect as the six inch um, positive ease it'll be a little bit oversized and yeah that's it halibut Caitlin Hunter so yeah I think the only other thing I wanted to tell you about is I'm gonna do a sale in my Etsy shop um, my Etsy shop I make handmade project bags uh, you just saw a couple that I'm using myself um, yeah I have some stock there from the last rifle paper company update and as well i have some older stock and i just like to kind of move it along and i think i'm also going to relist i was digging around and i found some um like winter holiday project bags from last year from 2022 and i'm going to list those in the shop as well at like a pretty significant discount because I just like to see those go off to new homes. Um, I'm looking at them now. There's only a few things. There's a few notion size pouches and a sock size, a couple medium and maybe three or four large, maybe three, but the large ones are super nice. I really like the large size of um, project bag in my shop that I have. This is the XL here. Um, and then the large is still quite roomy. 
here's one you can see. Uh, so it's still quite roomy. Um, it doesn't have quite the width when you open it up as the XL, um, but it fits a lot and it has just a simple slip pocket inside and a handle. So I've got a couple of those in some kind of cute holiday prints. So check that out. I'm going to start the sale on Friday, October 20th, which is when this video goes up. So it should just be all nice and seamless. And I'm not working on anything currently for the shop. I've kind of been taking a little break from sewing. I was getting a little bit of shoulder and elbow problems. Um, so I just have to take it easy when I do sew. Um, but I'm sure I will have something, you know, starting to put together again soon. I still have lots of fabric that I'd like to work with. So uh, stay tuned for that. If there's certain things that you're looking for in your project bag life, <laughs> let me know. Um, it's always really helpful for me to know what other people are um, wanting or currently using because I know like kind of styles and um, just what people are knitting depending on um, like they just change you know like people for a long time were knitting a lot of like smaller projects and then I feel like for a while it went like where people were making like a lot of sweaters and things so uh, either way, any information you can give me like that is super helpful. Have a look at the Etsy shop. You can find the link um, in the description box here or again on any of my social media. You should be able to find links taking you right to the Etsy shop. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed catching up with me here in the studio, having a little visit with Sammy who's now gone back outside. <laughs> and um... Yeah, let me know what you're working on, and um, I just wanted to thank you uh, for all the wonderful comments on the last video. I didn't really have a chance to respond to comments, but I do read all your comments. I hope you're all doing really well, and I uh, hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.